It's a big week in the world of trying to cure type 1 diabetes. There are two companies that are already in human clinical trials with their cures for type 1 diabetes. And they just shared some very exciting updates this week on how those clinical trials are going. Vertex and Cernova, these are the companies to watch. Vertex Pharmaceuticals has two clinical trials happening right now using their proprietary stem cell therapy. Vertex has developed a way to mass produce insulin producing cells, cells that produce insulin in your body. That means they don't require organ donation. They can make as many of these cells cells as we need. Their first trial is VX880. That's the trial they just released some exciting news about. Back in 2021, 14 participants in this study received an infusion of those insulin producing cells. Since then, we want to know, are those cells working? As of last week, June 2024, 12 participants have seen a significant reduction in their A1C. But wait, I know that's boring. It gets better. All 12 participants have stopped experiencing any severe hypoglycemic episodes. To participate in this study, you had to be experiencing frequent severe hypoglycemia hypoglycemia that disrupted your daily life, that made it really impossible for you to live a normal life with type 1 diabetes. But get this, 11 out of 12 participants have experienced a dramatic reduction or complete elimination of their need for daily insulin therapy from an injection or an insulin pump. 11 out of 12 and seven of those participants are completely insulin independent. This means they do not need any insulin from injections or pumps. The infusion they received of VX880 is successfully producing insulin in response to glucose levels naturally managing their blood sugar the way your body is supposed to. But yes, there is a catch. In this study, VX880 requires immunosuppression therapy. Don't get all upset about that. I know nobody wants to be on immunosuppression therapy. That's why the participants in this study had to be really struggling in life with type 1 diabetes, more so than the rest of us struggle. Because the trade-off of immunosuppression therapy had to be worth it because their life was so difficult and their health was in such a dire state. This study was not recruiting people with type one who are thriving and living big full lives. VX880 uses immunosuppression therapy because it is that first easiest way to test out how well these insulin producing cells work. And the study is showing that they do work, that these cells can respond to naturally rising glucose levels and keep blood sugar levels in a healthy, safe range. The reason their severe hypoglycemia has also disappeared is probably because now they have beta cells. Now the cells that manage insulin production can properly communicate to the other cells in your body that tell your liver to release stored sugar and prevent hypoglycemia. That's pretty awesome. Yes, there were two other participants that we haven't talked about yet. At the end of 2023, Vertex Pharmaceuticals shared that two participants in the VX880 study had died unexpectedly. There was a lot of speculation, of course, what did they die from? Vertex knew quickly on that their deaths were not related to VX880, and they were met with a lot of skepticism on that statement. In this recent press release, they shared exactly what those two participants died from. The first death was related to a fungal infection after a facial surgery and very high steroid use. The facial surgery was unrelated to VX880. It was an elective surgery and patients were not supposed to be on steroids during the VX880 study. There were a lot of conflicts here. The other death was related to a car accident and brain injury that this participant had experienced prior to VX880. Vertex explained that the progression of this brain injury led to that participant's death. A big thank you to those participants who we've lost and their families. The VX880 trial is going so well that they've actually expanded the trial and they're going to be recruiting up to 37 
participants. Meanwhile, we definitely can't wait for an update on VX264. VX264 is Vertex's other clinical trial. It uses those same insulin producing cells, but without immunosuppression therapy. Instead, VX264 involves surgically implanting those cells along with a protective device. That device prevents your immune system from attacking and destroying those cells. No immunosuppression therapy. That trial just started last year and they really haven't shared any of the results yet. So we're all just waiting. Can that device really protect those insulin producing cells from the immune system of a person with type 1 diabetes. That's what we want to know. All right, now for Cernova. Cernova Pharmaceuticals is developing something that's very similar, but a little different too. While Cernova is working on manufacturing an endless supply of insulin producing cells, they currently have their clinical trial that uses human donor insulin producing cells. Anytime a cell is coming from a human donor, that means there's a limited supply. So they do need to get going on that, you know, manufacturing process for that long-term journey of curing type 1 diabetes. Meanwhile, this is how their current clinical trial is going with those human donor cells. Last year, Cernova already shared that five out of six patients in their first cohort of this clinical trial were insulin independent. So we already knew it was working and that's awesome. They have a second cohort with seven new participants. All seven participants in this second cohort have achieved insulin independence, which means they're not taking insulin via injections or a pump. So how is Cernova protecting those insulin producing cells? Cernova's therapy works like this. They're taking donated human insulin producing cells. Then those cells go into a pouch designed by Cernova to protect the cells from your immune system as a person with type 1 diabetes. Otherwise, you know, your immune system would attack and destroy those cells. This means, ideally, that there is no need for immunosuppression therapy. Cernova's first trial did involve a little bit of immunosuppression therapy, only for a few weeks. In the second phase of that trial, there's no mention of immunosuppression therapy drugs. And we know that their goal is to eliminate the need for immunosuppression altogether. They're using this same cell pouch technology to try to cure other autoimmune diseases without immunosuppression therapy. So both of these companies know we've got to get rid of the immunosuppression drugs. But both companies start with immunosuppression drugs because it's really the best way to ensure that they can even see that the cells are going to work. It's a really big deal. We're all asking all the time, where's the cure? Where's the cure? It took decades to get to this point. Hopefully it doesn't take decades to get to the part where we get to all sign up and receive some of these implantable cells. But there's still a long way to go. This is not gonna be, you know, shipped to our front door by Amazon next Monday or next year. Clinical trials take time. Both of these studies, Vertex and Cernova, are in phase one slash two of the clinical trial process. Process. Phase one is about the safety of VX880 or the safety of Cernova's cell pouch system. Phase two is about whether it works or not. Does this work? Do these cells successfully produce insulin in people with type 1 diabetes? And then do those elements that are meant to protect those cells from your immune system also work? When they complete phase one and two of a clinical trial process, they'll get to phase three, which is basically is this better than what people with type 1 diabetes already have? I think we all know what the answer to that is going to be, but it depends still on the side effects of these treatments. If you are producing insulin again, awesome, but how's your quality of life? What's your general safety? Those things matter. Phase three, is this better than how we're already living and managing type 1 diabetes? If it passes phase three, it gets FDA approved. That's really exciting, but that's still a long ways down the road. Don't ask me where this cure is yet. I don't know where to sign up. You can't sign up yet. You can learn more about Cernova and Vertex in these two videos. In the meantime, keep doing what you're doing and don't give up.